This is a video demonstration of wave superposition using FET simulation called wave on a string. On this simulation, I have generated two waves. The first wave generated traveled to the right, bounced off of a C clamp, and is now bounced and moving to the left. The second wave generated is moving to the right from the left. So when I let the run time run forward again, you will see that these two waves move towards each other. And as they move towards each other, they will eventually overlap with each other. So what happens as these two waves overlap with each other? Superposition principle is the principle that describes what happens. Let's see what happens. So overlap, I've paused the simulation for a bit so that I can step through the simulation step by step, frame by frame. So frame by frame, it takes many clicks to get through the overlap. All right, so you see that the string is almost perfectly flat. So what happened to those two pulses? Did they cancel each other, annihilate each other? Well, nothing quite that dramatic. In fact, when I let the simulation run again, you will see the waves appear again. And as you see these waves bounce back and forth, I want you to notice this, that as this wave is overlapping with the other wave, as the wave I'm tracking is overlapping with the other wave, it simply travels as though it had never encountered the other wave. When two waves quote unquote collide or overlap, the, what the superposition principle tells you is that nothing happens. Two waves do not interact. They don't bounce off of each other. They don't stop the other wave. They simply overlap. They pass through each other. Now, as they are overlapping, we do need one wave. That's this bead here has only one position it can be in. Um, the two waves, the wave from left is trying to put it, let's say, somewhere here. The wave from right is trying to put it, let's say, somewhere here where the mouse cursor is. So I do need a single position for the bead to be in. And this is the second part of superposition principle. It says that the resulting one wave out of the two overlapping waves is simply sum of the two waves. So let's look at this red bead just to the left of the green bead. So the wave from left tries to put it here at some positive position. The wave from right tries to put it around here, somewhere in the negative or downward position. The resulting effect of those two overlapping waves is that this bead goes nowhere. To the left of this um, middle, middle point, um, the positive displacement that would have resulted from left waves more, that's why you see the beads in the positive position. And to the right of that point, the negative displacement from the right wave pulses more, which is why you see the displacements in the negative position. And when the waves perfectly overlap, oops, past that, when the waves perfectly overlap, that's when you see nearly zero displacement. So to recap, wave superposition, as illustrated by these two overlapping pulses, says that when two waves overlap, nothing happens. That's why we give it such a fancy name called the superposition principle. When two waves are superposed or overlapping, they do not interact with, with each other. One wave does not affect the other wave, except that in order to get one single wave, you have to add the effects of two waves together. This addition sometimes gives very interesting features that we call wave interference that you will read about more in your textbook and in the slides.